Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to send files wirelessly from your phone to your Nintendo Switch. Um, instead of having to use a Type-C cable, if you have a custom firmware, you can do it wirelessly with an FTP server. And most people usually use a computer to be able to do that. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it with your phone because I actually don't have a computer to use right now. So if you have an Android like me, then you could do exactly what I do. So this is what you do. Go to your app store, download this file called and FTP client. And whenever it's installed, you just hit open. Um, I'm not going to show you my IP address. If you saw it, don't steal my shit. <laughs> um, what you're going to want to do, though, is go into your homebrew browser app store. Search. And you're going to want to find FTPD. And the file is going to look like this. Take that. Download it. Um... It doesn't say it's downloaded on my system, but it is. I don't actually know why it does that. There it is, FTPD. Click on that whenever it's installed. All right, and then you're going to want to take the IP address that's right under my finger. Take that. It's going to be your own. And also the port number, which is 5000, you're going to want to take that too. So take those two numbers. Come over to your phone. You're going to take that IP address that you first grabbed and place it right there in host name. So mine would be like a 192, you know, whatever your IP address is. Put in that whole number. And then for the port, put 5000 because that's the port number for it. To the server and when you do that you would just hit save i'm not going to show you because i already have my own um and you're going to come to a screen like this you don't need to put in a username or password because whenever you connected the two when you connected the server to the nintendo switch um you didn't put a username or password for it so you won't need to do that just hit okay and it'll load up all the files that you have inside your phone. Actually, that's backwards. It'll load up all the files that you have in your Switch in your micro SD card. And you can go straight to your phone's files. And, you know, like downloads. What do you have? In, whatever you have anywhere. You know, you can. Whatever you want to download and move from your phone to your Switch, you can do it wirelessly just like this. So, and you would just copy and paste whatever. I can show you how to do that. I'll just use my resume for example. Boom. And then you would hit this button right here where it says there's this little arrow. That will upload it to your Nintendo Switch. Um, super simple. But. If you want to be able to transfer files wirelessly from your micro SD card to your phone without having to remove your micro SD card and having to redo the payload and restarting atmosphere and all that shit, you can do this. This is way easier. All you need is an Android. And that's it. Later, guys.